Hello, I am, Fra I am Frank Argalia. I am from the Microelectronics and Nanoelectronics Department at the University of Malta, and today we are going to visit the Integrated Circuit Testing Laboratory. Barnaby today is using the two-axis positioning table. What are you testing, Barnaby? I am doing some long-term testing on some lens gyroscopes. And what are gyroscopes used for in our everyday life? They are devices that can measure angular velocity, so they can tell you the orientation of your device. And they're used in applications such as mobile phones, where uh, they are used in order to determine the orientation and thus adjust, for example, the screen. Or maybe used in games where you use your phone in order to control um, the, the, the gaming application. This is Russell a researcher within our department and, to, and today he is using the shock tester. What are you testing here, Russell? Yes, uh, right now I am currently testing a commercial accelerometer as I have in my hands uh, and I am testing it uh, depending on an, um, uh, an, an, a particular impact force that I am applying. Uh, as we all know, uh, accelerometers are used in a number of commercial devices. For example, uh, they are used to, to uh, deploy airbags in uh, cars. So it is very important to test how the accelerometer um, uh, responds during the impact uh, of a car collision, for example. And here I am testing um, uh, the accelerometer using this impact uh, force table. So, for example, here I'm going to apply uh, an impact force of around 2000 G. And let's see what happens upon this impact. Since integrated circuits and MEMS, which are micro-electro-mechanical systems, are very, very small devices, we have to rely on microscopes in order to visualize and test their performance and characteristics. For example, here I am inspecting a device that we manufactured here at the University of Malta, and I'm checking the structure for, for defects. This type of structure actually can, is used to actuate and create motion in the microscale. So here we have a more advanced microscope where we can actually probe into the MEMS or uh, IC chip in order to test the performance or characteristics of the same device. Here I have a micrometer which is used for a number of applications such as Pico projectors and mobile phones, head-up displays in the automotive industry and also confocal microscopy. This micrometer, as you can see here, consists of a 1mm diameter circular plate and it is actuated using electrostatic comb actuators. This was a design which was developed in-house as part of my PhD work. This is Matthew, another researcher within our department and he is currently working on environmental sensors for air quality. So, what are you doing exactly here? So in this project, basically we are designing a number of sensors and also systems to gather information from these sensors. So for example, you can monitor carbon dioxide to monitor if the air quality in a building is adequate. And we are also monitoring a number of different gases such as particles and VOCs, which are all harmful in high concentrations. So now I can show you one of the devices we have created. So basically this device has a number of sensors which we all integrated in a single package device and this battery powered device is able to operate for up to two years and we can gather this data from a number of different locations within this building for example and then we can analyze and process this big data to generate location based information and then we can translate this to the building management system in order to enhance the quality of the air within this building. It also works on, ener on energy harvesters, which are devices which are capable of generating energy from their surroundings. This uh, energy harvester, for example, is a piezoelectric energy harvester, which is capable of generating elect electrical energy from vibrational energy. And it is capable of powering small loads in order to eliminate the requirement on batteries.